Hi, welcome to the 3D Pendant. As you make more fun 3D projects, you may find, as I did, that sometimes you just need a completely straight piece of plain filament to make things work. For instance, for anything that needs to roll, whether it's a car, train or turtle. Completely straight pieces of filament could be hard to come by. So let's look at how to make one. If you are using 3D Doodler pen, your filament is already straight. It may be too short or too thick, but it's straight. If you are using the real kind, even a relatively small piece of it will have a bend in it. And if you need it straight, you will need to fix that. Fortunately, it's a quick fix. You will need a pot of boiling water, the filament you plan to straighten, and some cold surface to cool it on. I use marble tiles. On top of that surface I will make a narrow channel from a few more tiles about the size of my filament. A cooling groove. Like so. And we are ready to roll. When your water boils, put on your rubber gloves and Put the filament in the water until it becomes spaghetti, which actually happens pretty instantly. Swish it around a bit. It may stick to itself a bit, just like spaghetti, but usually not permanently. Stick it into the groove until it cools. And you are done. Make sure your filament pieces are cut just a little bit longer than your cooling groove, so you have the ends to hold on to. If your cooling groove is marble, the cooling process is also pretty quick. Here is one in real time, so you get some sense of the time it really takes. Here we are, all done. And we are ready for some playing with color or whatever else you need these for. If you need to make your filament a little bit thinner, you can also stretch it at this point to about twice its length. However, it will get a bit uneven and not super straight. Plus some PLA like PLA Pro won't stretch at all. If you need the straight filament even skinnier, you may just use your pen and a ruler to make a straight line. Or drop a line from your pen straight down and let the gravity make it straight. Here is our size scale unstretch straight filament, stretched sort of straight filament, filament that was applied with a pen and a ruler onto a PLA friendly surface, and the gravity form version which tends to be even a hair thinner. So why would we need a straight piece of filament in the first place, you may ask? One of the reasons is that you can then make multicolored ribbons without having to change the color in your pen four times. If you need the details about ironing PLA, the link to that video is in the description below. You can see the straight filament makes a pretty good seamless ribbon. 
the stretched filament is a bit harder to work with and the ribbon will show any unevenness of the stretching which may look quite organic but it depends on what you are planning to use it for whether that's okay or not of course, if you want them even skinnier, you will want to form the straight lines with your pen. In which case you will need to change the color in your pen four times. But you do get pretty intricate little stripe elements for your efforts. And then you get to play with your ribbons further, like so. Or so. But that would need a different video. Also, anything with wheels is likely to need a straight, sturdy piece of filament for the axles. Especially if the running roller needs to be heavy and the axle therefore needs to be sturdy enough not to break. When I made my Halloween spider video, I made the axle with pen only. But it didn't hold up too long before it needed to be fixed. Next time I am definitely making one with solid filament. So I don't have to fix it constantly. Sometimes you need to make a piece of filament straight before you curve it in a different way. Like when you are making jewelry findings. But that should also be a different video. As I said in the beginning, straightening filament comes up every so often. By the way, the videos on how to make the spider and the tops are also in the description. So until next time, go and make something. Mm -hmm.